you can convince somebody that they've got a medical or biological problem, that the only thing that solves it is a pill, stands the reason you're going to sell more pills. If I can't get along with my husband, take a drug. If I'm feeling a little depressed, take a drug. We've become a fast food, fast drug society. I don't know that there was ever a time in the history of the world where people have been drugged to the extent of what we're seeing today. The whole pitch appears to be to, to sell, market, and sell, and market. My job and my pay was based solely on my ability to push drugs through my territory. We always did a full frontal assault. So we always came in, our product's the best. Are you going to write it? Are you going to write it? Are you going to write scripts? The bottom line for you was it was a business, and you had to get as many prescriptions as you needed. And you did it however you could. When a patient goes into a psychiatrist's office, probably 98, 99% of people are going to receive a medication. The psychiatric community is completely responsible for the widespread use of psychotropic drugs. They don't need to report all their data. They don't need to report all the trials that they do. They only need to report the ones that they want. They didn't disclose that the researchers, almost every single one of them, had financial relationships with the pharmaceutical companies. Essentially, the study did not really show Paxil was effective in treating adolescent depression, comma, which is not something we want to publicize. I was told that drug companies write checks to politicians on both sides of the aisle. Back off. You will not expand this investigation into the drug companies. The psych meds didn't help me at all. They made matters, uh, I'd say, probably like 10 times worse for me. Didn't want to live. I didn't have the desire to live. I began to experience suicidal thoughts. This is really the first time I'm saying something about it. For the psychiatric drugs, the goal is to have as many people on them as possible. There are certain executives in the pharmaceutical manufacturers that have stated that one day in America, every person will be on drugs, healthy or not. 